start. Create a new spreadsheet by pressing the, the Add Spreadsheet button. Accept the default name. And at this point, go ahead and hit the barcode icon. Now that we're done, we can see the rows have been added to the bottom of the spreadsheet. We can click on the preview button to get a full screen view where we can see all the columns that were entered. If we go all the way to the right, we'll see the date and time and also the GPS coordinates. If we go back and hit the map button, we'll see pin drops for all the scans. That ends quick start. Editing specific rows. We can go into a spreadsheet and in the preview on the bottom, we can tap a row and we'll be presented with a choice of edit, delete, or map. If we hit delete, it will remove that row. If we hit edit, Scan the spreadsheet will go into editing mode, which is what you see in green right here. I can now enter a value or change other values. And when I hit the, the add, but, add row button is now green because this saves. This is now a save row button. And now the updates are in that row. Hitting the sweep button will clear all the values. Exporting values from Scan the Spreadsheet. If we go into a spreadsheet, we can hit the Export button, which is the envelope down on the lower right hand corner of the toolbar. We'll be presented with four choices. The first two are directly to email. You can email a comma separated value or CSV file. You can also email an XML formatted spreadsheet file that's Open that is accessible in Microsoft Excel and other spreadsheet software. The export functions are if you don't have email or if you're outside of wireless or internet access. Exporting the CSV or exporting the XML file will save it in the documents folder of the device and they are both available when you connect your device to a computer or a Mac that when you open up iTunes you'll then be able to download and copy that file at that time. Instructions are available when you export. Here you would connect your device to a Mac or PC, open iTunes, select your device, then click on the Apps tab. Click Scan the Spreadsheet under File. That's important, you have to scroll down to the File section under File Sharing and you'll see the files there. When in a spreadsheet, we can quickly change some of the components. For instance, the column number. We press on the column number. Here we can change the values of the column name. We can also set the key bad type from alphanumeric to numeric. Now when we're hand typing, in this column you can see here it is a typing alphanumeric keypad, but in quantity It'll now go to numeric. You can hit the plus button to add a row. And hit the X button to remove the keyboard. Blank column name is also acceptable. To delete a spreadsheet, Tap the edit button, then tap the stop button here, then you can then hit the delete button, 
now we'll remove that spreadsheet. To rename a spreadsheet, tap the, either the information icon to get to the spreadsheet properties, or if you're within the spreadsheet, tap the settings button to go into the spreadsheet properties. Templates. Here we're going to show how to create a new spreadsheet and apply a template. First, if we look at the templates, we can hit this template icon down on the bottom. And here we have two templates, a default and an inventory template. You can see here in the inventory template we have part, serial, location, and condition. We're going to create a new spreadsheet by hitting the add icon. And here it came back with a default information. We can hit the settings icon and click on the apply a template and choose the inventory template and hit the OK button. A warning will appear saying that you will overwrite that current spreadsheet template settings. This will not overwrite the data, just the column headings. Now when we hit done, the spreadsheet will now change to part, serial, location, and condition. And it will have the different settings included along with it. Scan the spreadsheet multi-scan. You'll notice checkboxes along the side of the screen, one next to each column. These checkboxes denote when a column is the recipient of scanned data. And you can have multiple columns checked a good example is if you have a part number and a location, and both of them have barcodes, you can scan each of them before adding a row by having that checkbox checked. So you'd have a check next to part and a check next to location. When you start scan, you'll be prompted to scan the part. Then once it's scanned, you'll scan the location, and scan the spreadsheet will add a row. And again, part, location, add a row, part, location, add a row in that example. And that's what the checkboxes do along the side of the screen. They denote, again, the recipients of scanned data. Next, we're going to demonstrate a feature of the templates called the delimiter. In this case, in this particular spreadsheet, we have a delimiter of a comma. If we go into trade show attendees, you'll see it's also a comma. Sometimes barcodes can be separated by several delimiters, such as commas or caret characters. On the barrywing.com website, we have a barcode generator. And I am going to enter values that are separated by commas. And I'm going to create a barcode. At this point, when we scan, you'll see the information will separate automatically into the different columns based on the comma. Once they've been entered and you recognize what the different values are, you can change the column name. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> oh, good boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>